Rich with Lifetime Shred, and today I wanted to talk about packing for a cable trip. So let's get into it. So when you're packing for a trip, there's a lot of stuff that you might want to bring, uh, especially depending on the time of year. So basically what I wanted to do is kind of get into what I like to pack when I go on trips. Specifically, you know, if you're flying somewhere, you don't want to be without your stuff. I mean, if you're going in a car, you can kind of bring whatever you want. So yeah, getting into items. So first thing, you're gonna need a helmet. You know, you can always rent helmets at parks, but it's nice to have your own. Plus, if you have a GoPro mount or anything like that on it, then you're all set and ready to go. So on to the next item, a vest. So this one's also pretty obvious. I would say it's good to use a Coast Guard vest if you're traveling to a park you've never been to. Some parks do allow comp, impact vests, etc. cetera, uh, but the Coast Guard style vest, CGA vest, will work at any park. So getting into the next item, you're gonna need board shorts. So you also, uh, you know, obviously you need some shorts to ride in, but you also might wanna bring some neoprene with you as well. So I always like to travel with a pair of board shorts as well as some neoprene shorts that I can wear underneath because it's a great way to stay warm. You're also gonna need, you know, I like to travel with a sun shirt. So sun shirt could be really great to wear like over your vest or under your vest to keep yourself from getting all sunburned. It's also nice if you're gonna be chilling on the shore just to stay out of the sun a little bit because when you do go on a trip, like you're typically at the cable park all day. So uh, sun protection is important. I also like to bring, you know, speaking of neoprene, uh, some kind of like neo top. Um, I like to rock these uh, hoodie style ones that O'Neill makes. I think Mystic makes these follow as well. But, you know, something, especially if it's not in the middle of summer, like it's in the spring, fall, winter, you're going to want some neoprene. And the neo top is a very, very versatile layer to uh, kind of stay warmer. And if it's really cold out, you might even want a wetsuit. So I don't always travel with a wetsuit, but if it's spring or fall, I typically bring a 3-2 with me. Uh, it's just a really great all-around uh, type of wetsuit and you know not too stiff where some of the thicker suits can be a little stiff. Some other items. So I mentioned sun protection already with the sun shirt but make sure you bring sun block. I guess you can buy this when traveling but just one less thing to think about. Some people have specific sun blocks they like. I really like the Joshua Tree Life sun block. It's just a good natural sun block that actually rubs in decently. Um, and, you know you're gonna need some sunglasses as well. Again, you're chilling on shore or something, you want to be comfortable, you want to be able to get out of the sun, especially if there isn't any kind of shade or anything like that, uh, sunglasses are going to be really useful. And then another sun item, a sun hat. Again, some cable parks have shaded areas, some don't. So like the sun shirt, the sunglasses, the sunblock, the sun hat, this is all to give you the ability to get out of the sun no matter where you travel to. So you can get a little break. Um, it's good for your good for your skin, good uh, just for some rest as well. One other item that I would say for sun gear that I don't have in the picture here that you might want to check out, in addition to sunblock, some like good lip balm. I've had times when I go on a cable trip for a couple days and I forget to cover up on my lips and like maybe I don't get burned but my lips get all dried out. It's just something you can avoid real easy with some like SPF 15 lip balm. So. Uh, an item you may have not thought of that I like to bring when I go on trips, especially if it's that spring or fall when it's colder out, is a neoprene beanie. Uh, these beanies can make a huge difference in staying warm, and you can actually typically wear them underneath your helmet, kind of like people do snowboarding. Um, I like it a lot. It's, uh, yeah, super useful for staying a little warmer. Now getting into some items that you might want to have, especially if you're doing a multi-day trip. I like to have a fan and here in a second it's also going to cover the boot warmer that you can see. So every day when I'm done riding, especially if I'm on a trip and I get back to like a hotel room or something, a little portable fan and then these boot dryers are going to be really useful for getting your gear dry. And you know, why does that matter? A, it's going to get rid of some of the funk. If you don't dry out your gear, it's going to get smelly. Uh, guaranteed so if you get it all dry every day much less chance your gear starts having a real rank uh, smell to it so a little fan and these boot dryers can go a long way so big fan of those I never forget them some other items you know you might want to film a little while you're there you know I always bring a GoPro I typically bring my like Sony dad cam with me as well maybe some little tripods and stuff like that um, depending on the park, I might even bring my drone with me, you know, that's how I make these videos. But it's fun to video, even if you're not planning on making an edit, like, just to have those memories on, uh, 
film that's awesome. Headphones. So sometimes at the park, because usually when I travel, I'm at the cable park for like five, six hours, and I do take breaks. Like, especially if I'm feeling low energy, like a little bit tired, I like to throw on some music that I like and just kind of get pumped up again to keep riding. So another item. Yeah, the changing poncho. This thing I bring on every single trip. I love it. And it kind of serves as both a towel as well as something to allow me to change wherever I need to. So like, again, some cable parks have really nice amenities. Some don't. If you need to change, the changing poncho is going to be really awesome for you to be able to change wherever you need to without breaking any uh, laws around being nude. Plus, it's a towel. Uh, I also bring riding gloves with me. These are like some super thin radar slalom ski gloves. Do I wear gloves? I try not to. I don't like the feel of them. But these are like super thin, like really, really thin. And if I feel like my calluses are about to blow, that's where the uh, gloves are really important. Uh, I also got one of these. I actually won this in like a contest from a local shop out here, Marine Products. But it's like a wet sack or a bag. I really like this. It's just a neoprene sack. I could throw all my wet stuff in at the end of the day just to keep it away from the stuff that's still dry. Uh, some other items. You're probably going to want to have some snacks. Now, some cable parks really don't like you bringing like snacks in, but they'll typically always let you bring in a water bottle. So I would suggest that in a lot of parks you can fill up the water bottle. That way you're not running like in an hour and having to buy plastic water bottles. But I typically pack some kind of caffeinated beverage and some bars as well. Um, and it usually goes good. Another item, screwdrivers. Make sure you have a number three and a number two Phillips head screwdriver, whether it's in like a little tool or actually screwdrivers. Because your gear is going to get loose and you don't want to lose a wash or something in the lake. Because uh, it's just not going to go well could ruin your trip actually if they don't have replacement parts nearby and then you know one of the items you're gonna need to travel especially if you fly in a plane is you're gonna need bags so I always travel with a roller bag so this is like a Ronix uh, golf bag it'll fit up to about a 152 wakeboard um, and I also always travel with a little duffel bag because duffel bags are super light and what I do is uh, depending on the airline I will actually put the duffel bag in the board bag on the way out and then on the way back to my house, especially because I fly southwest a lot where you get two free bags, I'll take the duffel bag out, stick all the wet crap in there so it's not weighing down my board bag too much because you're typically going to stay under 50 pounds. So just a little strategy there with the board bags. But yeah, with all that said, uh, just some other items that you might want to bring on a trip. I would definitely bring extra hardware for your bindings. And that could be a couple things. It could be the screws, it could be the lacing or the gummy straps or whatever actually holds you into that binding. Having an extra set of those on hand can really save a trip. You know, if you've already invested in driving hours or flying on an airplane, uh, you don't want that to get ruined because you didn't bring a five, $10 part, etc. The other thing too, don't forget your board. I think that one's pretty obvious, so I didn't go too deep on it here. Uh, you can always rent gear at a cable park, which sometimes could be advantageous depending which airlines you're flying on and what skill level you're at. I would imagine though, if you're an intermediate or better rider, you probably own your own gear and that's what you're gonna wanna ride. So yeah, don't forget your board. I hope this packing list was helpful so that you can go and take a trip. I highly suggest flying out or driving to check out different cable parks. Even if you have one locally, like every park has different features different vibe, different puzzles to solve. Um, I really enjoy traveling myself. I would love to get out of the U.S. and travel to some other cable parks. I did ride in Thailand once a few years ago, but I think my dream trip would be to travel to Europe and kind of just make my way across Germany and a few other countries over the course of a couple of weeks and kind of ride a new cable park every day or two. Um, but with all that said, I hope this was helpful. Hope you're getting out there to shred, hitting up the cable parks or riding behind the boat. This is Rich with Lifetime Shred. Don't forget to subscribe or comment if uh, there's something else that I forgot on this list that you like to bring on your trips. With all that, I'll say goodbye. Peace.